Too big? My turn? Yeah. They fit me. Yeah, I can put them on. No, you got dirty hands. You got ice cream on your hands. You want to wash your hands? Yes. You want to wash your hands? Yes. You want to wash your hands? Wash your hands. Huh? Brandon. What's on your hands? Chocolate ice cream? Chocolate ice cream. 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 Hello? Detective Knight, please. I'll transfer you. Thanks. Well, no problem. Wait, I'm sorry, is this Detective Smith? Hey, Stacy. It is. Why didn't you say so, mister? How you been? We miss you around here. I've been good. You? Oh, you know how it is. Nothing changes. So when are you coming back? Soon. Well, make sure you come by and say hi. Coming back to this madhouse might do you some good. Yeah, it might. All right, I'm transferring. Ciao for now. Ciao. Hello, you've reached the voicemail for Detective Knight. Leave a message with your name and number. I check this line frequently and will return your call as soon as possible. Hey, yo, Knight. Give me a call, man. Coming back. Good to have you back. How you been? I appreciate that, man. I've been uh, good, real good. Hey, uh, how's little Jeff doing? He playing Little League oh, again yeah, this year? Yeah, yeah, we've been working on some things. I think he might play outfield this year. Hey, good. Oh, I know a couple of drills you guys could work on. Oh, for sure. Look, come on by the house anytime. You know me and Teresa would love to have you over. I will. Okay, listen, I know it's tough, but if you need anything or just to talk, I'm here. We miss you, man. I know. What we got? All right. So, normal bullshit. White male, 45 years old, uh, petty larceny, disturbing the peace, possession of drug paraphernalia, yada, motherfucking yada. Yada, yada. Okay, look, uh, simple transport. Okay, simple and easy transport. Just uh, right there and back. One stop, and then it's a straight shot. <laughs> what you moonlighting as a rapper now, man? <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I appreciate the sympathy and the lack of confidence, though, but I think I can handle this. No, no, I don't think you can handle this. I know you can handle this. So just some simple get your feet wet again shit. Let's go get him. Let's go. And I just take a personal interest in trying to help you get back into this thing as smooth as possible. So, what we got here, we got Rick. Creed, 45 years old. Date of birth, 9-24-66. Smith. 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 You all right? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm cool. Uh, Creed, 
9, 24, 66, 45 years old. Okay, now remember, feet wet, no sweat. To the hip, hip, hippity hop. I know, man, I, I, I got this, man. Let's, let's get them home. Piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake. Good luck, man. How you doing, man? Get you home. These cuffs are too tight, man. Hey, you pull away again, they're gonna be tight. Hey, cuties. What'd that other cop mean? Get your feet wet. None your business. Ground rules. Do not speak unless you're spoken to. Now we're gonna be making one stop and one stop only. Come on, man, let's make this an easy trip, man. Um, I don't want any hassles, and I'm sure you don't either. Whatever. Whatever? Now, I give everybody one chance to pop off, one chance. You just used it up your chance. So you pop off one more time, I'm gonna whoop your ass in a Philadelphia Minute. You know what a Philadelphia Minute is? Well, a New York Minute is faster. A Philadelphia Minute, mm, we hit harder. Psychology. Oh. My bad, you can talk. Psychology? You know how I got to be a detective after only uh, two years in the force? Psychology. What does that mean? It means I had you sized up in no time. You're not a bad guy, man, you're not. You just make stupid decisions, and I'm sure alcohol and drugs had something to do with those decisions. Oh, so you're psychic, too? Not psychic. Psychology. Come on, man. I, I've seen it all before. You know different than anybody else. What I don't understand, Mr. Psychology, is why would anyone want to be a cop? Cops put people in jail, and jail is no fun. My son and ex were killed by a drunk driver, and I live with that every day. The only way I can make a difference and to make sure another father doesn't feel the pain I feel is to put douchebags where they belong. Damn. I have nightmares every night and every day I dream about killing that guy. He was driving a stolen car and he left the scene. He didn't even stop to see if my little boy was okay. Maybe it was good that he left because Lord knows what I would have done to him if I got my hands on him. When did that happen? Two years, six months, and 13 days ago. So, what's your story? Where did it all go wrong? Wrong? My life is perfect. I'm off to jail, my wife left me, and I have no job. What do you mean, where did it go wrong? You grew up with your mom and dad? Yeah, but it was no picnic, let me tell you. Why? Why? Because my dad thought he was a failure and it... Is this part of your job description? Figuring out why the guy you're taking to jail is fucked up? No, nah, it's not. Okay. You're into psychology. Why would you take it out on your little boy just because your life is jacked up? Why would you beat your wife in front of that little boy and make him hide under his bed until daytime? Why would you destroy the house when we had no money to fix things? Okay. 
Why would you take the last bit of money we had to use for food and use it on alcohol? Why would you touch my little sister? And you ask me where it went wrong. Well, guess what? It was never right and I could never get past it. You got it, cop. You got it, cop. Yeah. I understand. Uh, I know this restaurant right off the road. That's our stop. Uh, Use the uh, restroom or whatever. <sighs> Sit right here. I'm in the mood for some halado that chocolate. You want some? What's that? Chocolate ice cream. Um. No. Well, you haven't some. It was my little guy's favorite. <sighs> Fuck it. Hey, give me a bowl of Harado de Choco. Harado. What up? Como esta? Bien, como estas? Muy bien, and you? Bien, gracias. Yeah, good, good. Can I get a two Harado de Choco like this? Two Harado de Choco. Mm-hmm. I'll take those costs off. I know I have to worry about you pulling some bullshit. It won't. Thanks. Dig in. Your little boy had good taste. What? Chocolate ice cream. This is really good. It is. I mean, every time I have it, I always think about all the good times he brought me. What's his name? Darren Jr. We called him DJ. What about you? You have any kids? No, ma'am. Just taking care of myself. Times my wife was enough. She wanted kids though. Maybe I should have. Maybe that would have calmed me down a bit. Shit, who knows? Yeah, maybe. It won't be too late. I'm only gonna be in for five years. Hey, maybe when I get out, I'll meet a nice girl and think about having a kid. Not a bad idea. You know, under different circumstances, we could have been friends. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, let's finish up. We gotta get out of here. Like you said, you only have five years. With good behavior, you'll be out in about three and a half. Just do your time instead of the bullshit. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I have a couple of CO buddies. I'll have them keep an eye out. Yeah? Hey, but keep that on the DL. The population don't take too kindly with those that fraternize with the boys in blue. I know. I never had anyone look out for me. Let alone a cop. I really appreciate it. Like I said, man, you're not a bad guy. You just had some major bumps that were hard to overcome. When did your little boy die again? Two and a half years ago, why? Was it around Papaya Street? Yeah, how'd you know? How the fuck?
fuck did you know, Creed? You're a good man. How the fuck? I was drunk and I off my ass. I was thinking right. You fucking kill my I'm sorry. You fucking kill I'm my brain. You fucking kill my Just kill me. You fucking die. I'm back. Any problems? Nah, no problems. Hey, is this your uh, little guy playing baseball? Sure is. Yeah, how old is he? Eight. Eight. He playing outfield? I think so. Yeah. Hey, I know some drills that could uh, help him out. That would be nice. I'm sure he would like that. Maybe afterwards I could make you a nice dinner. I'm sure I would like that. I'm about to take you up on that. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao. <laughs> Some things are out of our control. Who our parents are. Fate. Sometimes we get a winning hand in life. Sometimes a losing hand. It comes down to how you deal with that losing hand. We all deserve a second chance.